A lot of people know about your name now in China. Dr. Ilward, I understand that you were in Wuhan. So what was it like? Wei, when I pulled into uh, to, to, to Wuhan, and by the time I left, uh, you know, about 36 hours later, um, it was at one level heartbreaking as I listened to the stories of individuals and, and, and the Chinese just wonderful people, the people of Wuhan, um, how they speak to you and, and, and tell you what they really think. Um, so it was heartbreaking and one, to, to understand the loss of life, the devastation, the impact so much you know, beyond uh, uh, the disease itself and how deeply scarred the population would be. But much, much bigger feeling that I left with was how inspired I was. Um, no matter who I spoke to, whether it was a translator, whether it was someone in a train station, uh, you know, when we pulled in, it was always the same message. This is our duty. This is what we need to do. And that's a very hard thing to do a month into this. We tried to see every aspect of the response. We talked to the political leadership. We uh, spoke to people who were in the trenches doing the contact tracing, trying to help find the, the contacts. We talked to people in the stadiums who were taking care of the mild cases. We took talked to doctors who were taking care of the severe cases. We talked to nurses running the fever clinics. Um, we, we talked to so many different uh, uh, folks to try and get a feel for what was happening there. Uh, you know, I was sleeping two hours, three hours uh, a night for a couple of weeks. But um, the Chinese colleagues were working so much harder. And it, what, one of the things that I, I keep telling my, my, my colleagues here is every time we got on a plane or on a train or on a, in a, you know, a little bus or a van, mm -hmm. when I would turn around and ask one of my Chinese colleagues something, you know, they were, they were fast asleep they, they, because they're exhausted. They're working such hard, long hours. You know, they would grab a, a wink of sleep wherever they could. Because what I saw was a tremendous sense of responsibility and of duty to protect their families, their communities, and even the world from this disease. It, it was truly inspiring. I left with such a deep um, admiration for the people of Wuhan and, and for Chinese society in general. You know, the real heroes of this response are, are, are those people, you know, sitting home in, 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 in skyscrapers and, and, and apartment buildings um, for weeks on end. And, you know, the few that I did meet, they said, you know, we're playing our role, we're doing our part. And that is so powerful. And, and, and the world just owes such a huge debt to the people of Wuhan. And I just, I just wanted the people of Wuhan to know that the world knows that and we're sharing that story. Um, what you're doing is so important. Um, now, you leave a little bit of your heart in, uh, in China and especially in a place like Wuhan at a time like this. You're welcome back when it is the right time.